I'm dripping junket. How are you doing? Ralph here, Ralph is Reviews, Team Knucklehead. Go clone, go home. Uh, another review in the offing. Got these AVVM styled kits. Now they're a bit like a. I can never remember what it is. They're a bit like the AV1 MP5 or something like that, but they've got a different. They've got the Able style uh, button. One of Able's. Able's? One of AV's, Hutchinson's Designs, claims to fame. Um, used to be that all the parts were interchangeable. You can buy one of their mods, put the switch off somewhere else, blah, blah, blah. You can't do that with the 1MP5 thing, whatever it is. It's a right tasty looking bit of kit, don't get me wrong. Um, and that's not a critique. That's just saying I thought they were all interchangeable. And um, when I looked closer, because I didn't know quite what to call these things, uh, I noticed that the, the body's got the styling of it, but it's very able in its uh, 510. And it's switch assembler. Probably interchangeable as well. You could probably put this on a, a copper able styled mod button assembler and top. I might have a play later actually. See if we can't make a bit of a hybrid just for some photos. Anyway, we're going to look at these today. Um, the stainless steel 510 mushroom T top bit connection thing section. Section. 510 section stainless steel. Button section stainless steel. The body's alloy, yeah. I'd say aircraft grade alloy, but that means nothing, it's just a bit of marketing. There are certain grades that the aircraft uh, aviation industry use, but um, it's quite a wide spectrum. It's just high grade aluminium, uh, or aluminium alloy, I should say, or titanium alloy, or whatever. We'll call it alloy, yeah. With it, you get this. Uh, you get a battle battle deck style deck, the old D post that we're all familiar with, and you get a battle cap X with it. The, the old crosses all over it. it. Looks a bit like a pineapple. Quite like it. You don't get a drip tip. I put one of ours in, one of our Comp Life style resin tips. Uh, but nothing stopping you fitting a suitable one of your choosing, is there? Or running it tailpipe, which I do quite a lot actually. Lovely bit of kit comes like that without the drip tip i'll show you one box we'll get one out and have a look in the usual close-up <coughs> excuse me i'm a bit out of breath the one thing i wasn't sure about this is uh, an item that we were requested we had lots of people asking on the group are you getting these are you getting these and i was like go on then I'll get some, um, and I'm glad I did. Again, we we tried to listen and take on board and see what people would like because we like to supply what people would like. We like, you know, we like to sell things that you want, obviously. Um, I wasn't sure because of the alloy body. Now I've had uh, alloy mods in the past and they've hit like a fucking wet kipper, you know, been like a soggy handbag. But this fucking does it. Um, I'm very pleased. I'm pleased with the styling. Um, it's because of the alloy. It's quite light as well, which normally I'm like I like a big, thick, chunky, like the old HK. That's good, solid bit of kit. Like this feels dainty compared to it because of its weight, but it's nice. It feels nice in the end. It's got this knurling that lets you grip it easily, so it don't slide about while you're firing it off. The button's really light anyway. But magnet in there you know it, it it's a pleasure to use because it's so it's got a light action button it's not a heavy mod um so if you like things to be gentle then it certainly does it but it fucking packs a punch don't be thinking that it, it doesn't weigh much and the switch is dead easy so it'll be a bit fucking twee like no it does it does it let's have a vape That's with my usual build, my usual 0.07 James Bond. Um, the old thing will get a little bit warm at that, which is what you expect from any mod. Um, excuse me. But alloy does conduct heat very well, so it gets warm 
quite quickly and it cools down quite quickly um i've beasted it and not had it hot enough or warm enough even to to cause me concern although i am a little bit crazy um so don't worry about it it's a good bit of kit we'll go in close after a vape but look at what comes in the kit we'll take it apart see how it's put together and then talk a little bit more yeah see you soon so here's the bad boy comes in what's becoming a generic box you get lots of different things in these boxes now and i like them they're good it's just a fucking box anyway you get a little bag of spares well a bag of spares you get the usual battle deck spares which are an o-ring and a, a screwdriver that's shallot small onions there and you get your dripper which has got that alloy battle cup x with a logo on and the crisscross the pineapple styly and yeah get that out stainless deck with a copper center post detailing inside coloured stainless steel screws I believe the authentic is titanium lovely hybrid friendly copper 510 screw there and a little bit of detailing on the bottom we've actually got these decks in this finish we've got them in silver plated we've got them in black which are fucking lovely and we've got some silver plated two posts coming um not like the ccc ones with a square deck which i fucking love we've got them like the battle deck so the round both ends and the middle post come they should be with us after the uh, holiday so that's nice then we've got the mod itself which to all intents and purposes is very very able like you've got your 510 hybrid of course with that design on the top and the screws in and out for your battery adjustment and replacement stainless steel jobby that is it's lovely i love that detail in there and you've got serial numbers i bet they're all the same where's mine no they're not all the same look i've got number 20. i should have gone through and seen if there was a 007 or a 69 or a something else shouldn't i before i snaffled one but there you go such as being impetuous in your choices ralph learn your lesson there um and then you got your switch assembly again stainless steel with a copper contact we'll have the switch apart on camera which will be fun because the magnets are fucking bang on that leaves us just with this lovely alloy fluted would you call it a knurled tube main body the finish on it is cracking it's fucking bob on i don't know what they use whether it's a powder coat or an anodizing or something but it's slightly textured it's not um clear coat it's not got a soft rubbery feel feels like powder coating but it's you can feel the satin it's got a grip to it it's absolutely fucking lovely lovely um you've got the vm and the serial number like i say and you've got the av logo there Right, put that there. Let's have a look at the switch. As with all able style switches, the button unscrews all the way. Don't do this when you're using it. You're only going to need three turns, maybe, to give you enough to fire it. And then you've got a little magnet in there, big magnet in there, copper contact, vent holes. That's it. Bob's your jolly old uncle. Yeah, I'll just get in there. Just wrestle this back together on camera. And like I say, people undo them loads. If you undo it too much, and you've not got your battery adjusted and whatnot, you're going to push that up and that can turn and jam up and it'll just auto-fire until you unscrew the top or whatever. So when you're actually using it, you're going to need like one, two, three. Should be enough. That should then give you contact there don't overdo it logo on the bottom groove ground there matches the grooves around there what a simple delightful bit of kit goes together really easy what I would do is 
fit that, forget it. Only take it apart when you're going to service it. Yeah. He says that, and then he's struggling on camera to get it started. Look, that's just. I'm just going to cheat and look around the corner. There we go. Look around the corner. Just looking through the camera. Then you've got your deck on. All built up. Pop your battery in, whichever way up you're comfortable with. Um, there's been a lot of talk recently about the, the vents out the top, so fit that where your vents are. So if you want to, put your battery positive down. It's not one to me. These devices are not polarity conscious. It won't know. Screw that down to take your battery out and out. You've got a building there of your choice. Top cap on, and you're away. One, two, three turns, pushing it on fire. It's that simple. It really is that simple. Yeah? This off to change your battery. Get rid of your battery, pop your fresh one in. Put that back together. Tighten it down on your battery. Chuck your top cap on. Boosh, you're away. The job's a good one. What a lovely bit of kit. Really, really do like, I'm pleasantly surprised. I should have written down the names of all the people that requested them, but if you're watching, thanks a lot. I'm glad you did. I'm I'm really glad. Thanks for the uh, input. The lovely, lovely bits of kit. Let's go back up top. See you in a minute. So yeah, the AV VM. Uh, if somebody could enlighten me into what they're actually called, I know it's not the one M five P one five MP MP five MI five MI six thing that uh, Abel had just brought out because the switch is different but I think they're good enough on their own merits there may be a copy of that that they've not been asked to make a complete new switch assembly for which is fair play you know it does it it does it very well as well very well as well yeah I for one am very pleased with these they're a winner winner chicken fucking dinner I'm not going to say steam train to flavour town, although I just have, because you know where this is going to put you, and it's going to put you at looking fucking dandy, and you could, excuse me, you could try different tops. You could put whatever fits on the battle deck is going to fit on there. Looks oh, quite natty, though, isn't it? Let's try it. brass one, brass against black. I like brass and black. Mm. Maybe not to my taste, but it's there, isn't it? You know? I like the cloud chasing club competition caps. They're delightful. But I've digressed again. Stunning bit of kit. Um, for the money, I think they're 40 quid. 39.99, they might be 45.99, I don't know. I can't remember. Check them out on the website. I'll put a link up. Certainly, certainly recommended and definitely team knucklehead approved the lovely they really are have a look go and check them out thanks for watching come again yeah thank you come again have a good one people that's about me i'm going to squeeze one more in um and then i've got to go and do that post-production editing and uploading and all that silly shit while i'm cooking sunday dinner so have a good one folks big love to you and yours and remember Smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? I'll see you all again real soon. Have a good one.